So what do you got there? This is my first uh, camera. Uh, like uh, during the early early 70s in Korea, not many people have camera. Maybe somebody who have a camera, they, they feel very proud. Oh, I have ah. a camera. I don't want to do that. It's just better put in the shoulder under the jacket. Once I want to take a picture, so just like take a picture, then I put it. I was born in Daegu, the third largest city in Korea. I was a very happy boy, but uh, I sometimes I was very lonely because uh, my my father died when I was five years old. I I went to the really good private high school. Uh, I was very interested in writing, creative writing. My, my first uh, dream was uh, to become a uh, writer. When I was 16, I got a top prize from photo contest in Daegu. That was uh, my first prize for the uh, art field. I, I never got a prize from uh, creative writing. Yeah, but still, still, still I'm a good writer, yeah. I think. I published a book. Uh, when I was in middle school, I was a boy scout. I really enjoyed to taking picture in the camping life, like a, a campfire fire. That is very interesting. When I look at the campfire fire, that's how different between by looking by eye and with a photo. Because uh, when I look at the campfire fire, there is a campfire fire is still moving. When I taking photo. Then to make a line over the uh, light, mm. then that's come totally different. Then how, how I recognize photography is different than just look. What did your mother think? Was she happy you were going to be a photographer? Uh, when I told her I want to go photography school in the college, she was a little bit disappointed because she was worried about my future. She wanted to be a my, I should get uh, some permanent job as uh, like a local government uh, or some salary man. My, my father was a uh, quite big businessman. Uh, he went to the many different places. That time was a uh, Japanese occupation. He cannot make a business in Korea. After my father was died, my mother, she managed that, that business. That business uh, we export in Vietnam during the Vietnam War for the Korean Army. Oh. And then our business was quite good. That's why uh, my mother, she can support me as a photography student. When I was a college student, uh, I liked uh, very much William Klein and Robert Frank. William Klein is uh, very much like uh, vivid and strong, just uh, more like a candid photo industry. He, he can capture the uh, people's real life, never make a... I, I try to make a picture like that. I used to writing my journal every day, but after college student, uh, just taking photo every day in life, instead of writing journal. My photography is a journal. I, I always taking photo 
polo rice or denjangu or soup or I took a lot of a picture of the food. I always take a picture first, then take a tea or take a uh, soup because of that something something uh, moving for me. The 내가 사진가로서 가장 좋아하는 거는 낯선 곳에 갔을 때. When I when I arrive at a strange place. Everything for me is something new. Then I have to take a picture. New, strange feeling. That's what I like best. For example, when I had an exhibition in LA, there is a photo from the cherry blossom in Kyoto. And the uh, shadow of uh, uh, my, my shadow on the window, there is a crossing between flower and uh, car and uh, myself. Then I have to take a picture, not only by myself, but with uh, their environment. That's what I like most. I have a, uh, that kind of self-portrait series uh, in Kyoto, in the Germany, and uh, Xi'an in China. When I when I was a sabbatical in New York University, I I preparing my new project during the sabbatical because from Korea, this is a little bit difficult to go to the Antarctica or Amazon or North Pole, but in New York is much better than Korea. I can go anywhere from New York. Global warming. That's why I went to the Antarctica, also North Pole, and Amazon. Amazon is the biggest jungle and the biggest river in the world. Also, still there is an unknown place. Very mysterious for me. Nice weather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my character. Uh, whenever I go to Himalaya or a different country, I try to be local people. Hard slog, pretty high up. Oh. 
Antarctic is only one place. No people live there. Only research center. Also, normal people, they cannot go. Very difficult. They have to make a reservation one year before, and also so expensive to go there. I think there is a limitation. Maybe every year, just a couple thousand people accepted it. Otherwise, uh, there gonna be uh, too many like uh, uh, pollution gonna be there. But still, some people they leave some garbage. But I think still they are very pure and clean place in the world. Their air is totally different than somewhere else. Also, light. Light is very mysterious, so beautiful. Uh, that really uh, make me crazy, really. Even spend a lot of money, also very difficult to go there. But once I go there, I forget everything. Because the temperature is a little bit low, usually one minute. Like this. Not bad. Also, I can see there is a melting iceberg. My uh, point is, uh, whenever I go there, there is a Paradise Bay. That is my favorite place. I can see how they are changeable. Also, I had an interview with uh, some uh, research engineer. Yeah, but he said, uh, last 10 years, he cannot say just uh, Warming, but sometimes cold or sometimes warming. Maybe after if I go there for ten years, I can see how much it changed. No internet, no mobile. Uh, uh, I can see myself more clearly. Just I can read a book or just meditation by myself. Yeah, I know myself. Yeah. When, when people look at my photo in the gallery or museum, they told me uh, my, my photo of iceberg, there is some meditation. They have to think about what's going on. When I, was, when I was 30 years old, I used to make a portrait until like 40. When I become 50 years old, I more pay attention to the nature, landscape. That's, that's I think, uh, given me shifting for me. I'm very worried about the future of my child. Even uh, compared to the, when my mother was a child, uh, we cannot find the really good food. Everything was uh, with the pollution. No one not really believing this is from organic, but what is organic? Very difficult to believe. What I'm saying is uh, Amazon and Antarctic is a gift of us. We have to preserve it. We cannot make a game.